Welcome to Serenity Leisure's video for this 2011 Buccaneer Caravel that has just arrived with us. Now the video is being made in conjunction with the photographs and editorial you may have already seen and it's just been made to give you a little bit more sort of close-up information and footage of the caravan itself. Um, this is a four berth, 26 feet and one inch in length uh, caravel with a fixed island rear bed. Right, uh, front um, uh, the front of the caravan remains sort of virtually completely unmarked. Well, not even virtually, it does remain unmarked. Uh, no sort of nasty scratches or indentations. Uh, it's running on the uh, BPW chassis with the uh, intelligence drive control. That's like your sort of electronic anti snake uh, equipment on board. Gas lock obviously there. Down the um, non-entry side that is an external shower uh, and obviously the water pump connection point is here sights privacy glass flush windows and in terms of markings to this side um, as in any pimple marks at all i cannot see one so this side remains completely unmarked the back end of the caravel will be much the same High intensity rear brake lights at the top there. Buccaneers have a very distinctive back end. They don't need any introduction, being probably the best British built caravans currently available on the market. Uh, and on the this side, again in terms of condition. Uh, okay, there's a small pimple mark here. Just where my finger is. Pretty insignificant. Other than that, outside battery locker, outside wet locker. Uh, other than that, no, she's absolutely spotless. Um, alloy wheels all the way around. This one has got a slight curb mark on it. Can you see that one there? It'll look better once we get the black off. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera up on the roof just to give you an idea of what it's like, uh, what its overall condition is like at the top. It is a little bit blowy today, so you might get some noise interference, but it's just to give you an idea where the skylights are, or the position of them, and the condition of the roof itself, just to let you know it hasn't been covered with hailstones. As you can see on this caravel, it has a satellite system, a telco satellite system, which is already on there. Dish there. There you go. Okay, right. We're going to get out of the rain. Out of the rain? Out of the wind, even for that matter. The rain's over there somewhere coming. Right. Uh, options on this caravan. Caravel's a high end. Uh, the Buccaneer uh, caravan is a high-end caravan anyway in terms of quality but it has the satellite system and it has full leather upholstery which was an expensive option when it was new uh, it's not everybody's cup of tea but I rather like it I've been away with caravans with leather and it just added, adds a really nice sort of refined touch as well as being a near on £2,000 option when it was new this one has it uh, Buccaneers have got the slightly longer seats on the front as well um, so you can use those as two, two sort of full-size singles or obviously this area converts into a double bed if required. The table comes out so and then there's an additional one which sits in this area if you've got more than two people dining you'll have concertina blinds uh, sorry fly screens here concertina blinds like so around the caravan music system TV aerial booster, which you won't need because you've got a satellite if you decide to use it. Uh, fixtures and fittings on these set of caravels, even the weight of the cupboards, what have you, um, um, is much heavier than sort of many other caravans. Just very, very good quality. That's a Hecky 4 Skylight, which is a, um, a opens and closes via a remote control. It has a rain sensor on it, so if you're out for a walk and you've left that skylight open, it starts raining. Uh, it'll shut on its own, which is quite clever. A uh, digital, um, sorry, not digital, LED lighting all the way round. And then if I just put this up here, you can get a really good interior higher shot of the caravan. Aldi central heating, water tank, onboard water tank, level indicator, etc. And our galley. 
All in rather nice condition. Microwave. Big fridge freezer, that's the big plus point. Big Tetford fridge freezer. More light switches, more storage, and then we move into this area. Now this door here sort of cleverly comes back, shuts off, and then gives you, um, if you're in the bedroom, if you've got guests on board, it gives you privacy in the bathroom or the bedroom itself. You've got a enclosed shower here, a Buccaneers distinctive sort of tile effect walls, most chrome fittings, and a seat for to sit down and have a shower, you can do. Very good. The Aldi heating reaches as far as in here, has its own little radiator, Tepford C250 swivel electric flush cassette toilet. LED lighting in this area as well. And then our bedroom, which as you can see is rather sumptuous. His and hers wardrobes. Uh, the music system comes all the way back into here. Lots of uh, very thought thoughtful lighting all the way around. Twin radiators, proper radiators, just like we have at home. That's good. Television bracket. This little sort of makeup area here, just open, like so, sit on the edge of the bed. Some more storage, and then underneath the bed itself, you've got copious amounts of storage, as you can see. Great big area. Uh, overall condition is uh, pretty much exceptional. Um, the carpets are absolutely spotless, as is the upholstery. There's no nasty smells when you enter the caravan. Uh, no markings to the worktops. The leather's very, very good. All in all, uh, condition can definitely be described as, uh, as excellent. Okay, so that completes Serenity Leisure's video for this 2011 Buccaneer Caravelle.